What's going on everybody? Today we are going to make some homemade open face chicken pot pie. Okay, so the ingredients we are going to use is some chicken tenders, right? I'm going to chop those up and cut them all about the same size so that they cook evenly. One half of a white onion, some peas, celery, carrots, a little bit of chicken broth, puff pastry, and egg wash. And then over here, we have our roux, which is basically half a cup of flour, half a cup of oil. Let it cook until it gets about pancake batter, just like that. Cook all the flour out, and then you're ready to go. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your pan really hot, so it's almost smoking. I use grapeseed oil for any kind of sauteing or anything like that. A little grapeseed oil in the pan, let that warm up a little bit. The point where it's almost smoking. Grapeseed oil has a higher smoke point than any of the other oils. That's why I like using it, especially when I'm sauteing or searing off the protein. Once your oil gets hot, you're going to add your chunks of chicken. The first thing you want to add, you want to hear that sizzle to the chicken. If you don't touch raw chicken, I recommend washing your hands right afterwards. You don't want to get any kind of cross contamination. When it comes to chicken, also it's about three quarters of the way cooked through. And then once it is, we're going to add our carrots. That's going to take the longest to cook. Then about a minute after we add the carrots, we're going to add our celery and our onion. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, now to make the puff pastry bowl, you buy this in your local supermarket. It's gonna be in the frozen section. Buy the pastries and everything. Puff pastry sheets. Come the two of them. Now when you thaw it out, it's probably going to break like this. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Just piece it back together. You just pinch them until it becomes one again and smooth it out. It's gonna happen. Oh well, deal with it. We'll just figure it out, right? That's it. Figure it out. Okay. Now what you're gonna want to do is roll it out a little bit, not too much. Don't worry about it if it breaks, just pinch it back together. It's dough, it'll work with you. I recommend doing it on a bigger cutting board too. Unfortunately, I don't have my big cutting board. I left it somewhere, so we're gonna make do with this one. All right, so we're just gonna keep on rolling it out a little bit till it's about half the size that it was. Now, if it ever sticks, if it sticks to the rolling pin like this, put a little bit of flour down, take that problem right away. Cut it right down the middle, one way, cut it right down the middle the other one. Okay, now let's finish off the little puff pastry boats we're going to make. I rolled it out a little bit thinner than what the puff pastry normally was. Cut it into four equal squares, just like that. Take the regular glass, 
cut out the middle. Now what we're gonna do is take some egg wash. All egg wash is is basically scrambled egg. Put that around the edges like so. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna let this top piece now stick to it. And when this goes into the oven and it all rises, this little part right here, just push right down, it's gonna become your little ball. So we'll do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, the puff pastry is done. Time for plating. Now we'll put the bottom, which is good, get that out of the way. Push this little area in the middle down, and that creates your little ball. Pretty nifty, eh? Now, what I did was, with the little circles that I cut out, with the little one and the cutouts before, I made a small one for the kids. Cut down. You just want to take your chicken pot pie filling. There you have it. Delicious.